Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Monkey Island. In our last episode, I encouraged Guybrush to reach for the stars, but he was pessimistic. Oh well. Let's check out this note. I'll take this interesting rock, too. Herman, please return our key to the monkey head. The cannibals. <laughs> yeah, the other thing we learned about in the last episode is this whole situation where Herman Toothrot has the cannibals key to the monkey head and the cannibals have Herman Toothrot's banana picker and they won't return the items and they're not even using the items. Oh, it's just a big mess. I mean, wars get started over that kind of stuff. Just ask Katarna. Anyway, let's check out this noteworthy rock. I'm no geologist, but judging by these conchoidal fractures, I'd say this is a piece of flint. <laughs> okay. As I said, it's flint. I don't know. You're no geologist. I don't know if we can uh, trust your word, Kybrush. I mean... You can use a bunch of fancy words like conchoidal fractures, but it doesn't mean you're a geologist. Uh, let's climb up this mountain. Oh, there's another interesting rock, but this one is apparently not noteworthy. Um, here's another note. <laughs> to the Monkey Island Cannibals, please stop moving this. It is delicately balanced. Herman Toothrot. <laughs> okay, well, let's check out this primitive art. It's either an incisive representation of the futility of man, or it's a log in a couple of rocks. <laughs> oh, but you're no art critic, right, Guybrush? Oh well, let's uh, let's keep going up this mountain. Ooh, pretty view. Oh, what's this rock doing here? It looks like someone put this here on purpose. Uh-oh, Herman's back. I never get tired of this view, even if I have been looking at it for 20 years now, even if it is the only view on the island. Uh, yes, it is a nice view. And, uh, yeah, I'm all out of stuff to talk about with Herman. I think you can go to these places in any order, and so... Herman kind of starts, he warms up to you like the first couple times you see him. He doesn't stick around long, and then you can talk to him about everything. But then, whenever you run into him, you just have to send him on his way. It's kind of sad, really. Oh well. Excuse me, I've got pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, well, another odd thing is he'll, he'll stick around and he won't react to stuff like, oh, for example, uh, sinking your ship. Whoops. Nothing to say about that, Herman? That was our uh, means of getting home. How about if I go over here and, uh, oh, fall off a cliff? What do you think of that, Herman? Any comment? Oh, no, you've really screwed up this time. Guess you'll have to start over. Hope you saved the game. Oh, oh no, it's a sea. Oh, no. Rubber tree. <laughs> what do you think of that, Herman? Nothing, huh? Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a cute little Sierra-style uh, death scene, but, uh, yeah, it doesn't stick. And my friend actually uh, found that one. I He showed it to me. I remember that. I, d I didn't find that one on my own. Oh, look, another note. What does this one have to say? Mr. Toothrot, please remove this dangerous object. Lemonhead knocked a rock onto it from the cliff above and nearly injured someone who was putting up a swing on the banana tree on the south beach. Ah, putting up a swing seems to be both a popular and dangerous activity on this island. And by the way, Lemonhead is one of the cannibals. It's not a nickname for our, uh, for our gorgeous blondish locks. <laughs> anyway, uh, the cannibals, yeah. Okay, so yeah, you can see that you can use this to uh, launch things at stuff. And don't worry about our ship. I mean, yeah, this is a LucasArts game, so sinking your own ship does not mean the game is over. Um, but it's funny how that is the default position 
of this little primitive art. It's like they want you to sink your ship. But you can move it. And another thing you can do is use your spyglass to see where it's currently pointed. There's some floating debris where my ship used to be. Yep, if you look at it before you sink the ship, then you'll see your ship there. But I, won't, I didn't want to spoil the surprise, so I didn't, uh, didn't look. Um, anyway, let's push it. And uh, now let's use the spyglass. The ocean is pretty from here. There's some debris to the right. And it won't go further. Okay, well then let's pull it. And pull it. Okay, where's it pointed at now? There's some debris to the left and the big tree on the beach to the right. Ooh, the big tree on the beach. Those luscious bananas were ready to fall. I wonder if a giant rock hitting them might uh, uh, help along the situation. Uh, we'll have to pull it one more time. I can see that big banana tree on the beach. Perfect. Let's go uh, load up another rock. And uh, look at the heap of rocks. Oops. I don't see anything special about it. <laughs> oh well. I'll just put it here. Uh, it's the same rock I put there. <laughs> All right, nice, nice short-term memory there, Guybrush. Let's push it. Boom! Wow. Looked like it hit the big banana tree on the beach. I bet the odds against that are incredible. Well, let's see. Let's try it again. It came close, but I don't think it'll hit it again. That shot was one in a zillion. Yep. It'll just work the first time, and uh, obviously you can't hit your ship again. And I think pretty much anywhere else you point it just hits somewhere along the island. But uh, yeah, those are the only two things you can hit. Uh, but I will show where else it can point, because it has some funny stuff. Uh, let's uh, pull it. Yeah, okay. Spyglass. Wow, what a jungle. There's the big banana tree on the beach to the left. Okay. And again. The jungle's pretty thick. All I can see is a bunch of animals eating each other. Wow, chicka bow wow. Anyway, um, yeah, that's interesting. Uh, let's uh, push it. And spy glass. Hey, I can see the lookout on Melee Island. He's looking right at me. <laughs> wow, it seemed so much further than <laughs> seemed so much further than being able to see it from a spyglass. Uh, yeah, even if you do that, it, it doesn't. You won't be able to hit Melee Island from here. <laughs> anyway, it won't go further. Oh well. And um, yeah, let's see. One more thing we can do here. Let's check out this dam. I don't see th anything special about it. Oh, well, how about our uh, handful of gunpowder? There we go. And there's a couple ways you can do this. You can bang the flint against something and light it. But uh, I prefer this method. We've already used up our spyglass. We're not going to need it again. So let's open it. There's a nifty lens in it. My feet look bigger through this. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then you can use the lens with 
the conveniently interactive sun. Ah! <laughs> yes, very nice. Well, now the pond is filled. Let's go check it out. Yay, we can reach that rope. It seems to be a jump rope. Okay. <laughs> well, now it's our jump rope. And how about this unhealthy looking man? He doesn't look good. Uh, let's push him in the water. Ick. <laughs> okay. This is, uh, yeah, it seems okay. Um, ooh, nice little waterfall there. But not much else to do here. Oh well, now we have two ropes, which means we can go down here, go to the crack, and we can get ourselves some ores. Um, let's try putting it on that tree. The rope's not long enough to reach the canyon floor from the tree. I'll try it with that branch. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, tie the next one on the stump. And yay! Let's check out these oars. It's a pair of oars. Well, that's, that's great. Let's grab them. Nice. Alright, we won't need these ropes again, and I don't think I can take them, so... I'll just leave them here. And uh, let's uh, let's go check out the beach. All right, a couple of bananas. Come on, I thought thought these things were like ready to fall, and only two after that big rock hit it. Come on. What's it say now? They look like they're almost ready to fall off the tree. Yeah, well, these are all we're getting. It's yellow. Okay, more yellow bananas. Great. Well, let's see if this will help the monkey follow us and become our little monkey butler. Oh, dude, don't, don't eat the peel, monkey. Don't eat the peel. Okay, you peel it, eat the white part, and throw the peel away. Let's try it. Yes. No, no. Oh, monkey. Oh. Oh, well. Will you now be our, <clears throat> now be our little monkey butler? Come on. Oh, he gave up. Oh, we're going to need to find more bananas. Uh, but uh, now we have a little boat we can use. That's strange. It's, oh, okay. I can paddle it with these oars. Yes, you can. And same thing here. If you click somewhere random, guy will be all slow about it. If you click on the edge of the screen or on a beach, he'll zoom along. And here's another beach. Let's go over here. And another bottle. There's a message in it. It's a memo. To Herman Toothrot, from Yammer, Hem, and Haw, Attorneys at Law. Oh yes, making a little pun out of lawyers' names. Very, very cute. Suit against cannibal tribe over malicious tossing of your oars into a chasm. I think we have a case here. We can probably soak them for emotional distress and possibly punitive damages as well. Oh. Hmm, sounds like legalese. I don't think I can translate the rest. Well, yeah, we already took care of those ores, and uh, we we have the evidence now, so let's check out the bottle. It's a gross old bottle. I don't want it. Jeez, Kybrush, you'll put pretty much anything in your pants, but you draw the line at a bottle. Oh, well. Let's, 
let's uh, see this. This is very interesting. Uh, clearing. Uh, what's this? Private property. Worshipping is permitted, but please do not enter the monkey head. GP LeChuck. Ooh, we're at the monkey head. This is something to explore in the next video. Later.